Hi there. When I look in my diary, I quite often see an appointment that says, meet with joy. Now, that's not a reminder to me because I'm a particularly pessimistic person. It just so happens that here in Mersey, our communications officer happens to be called Joy. But you know, it does make me think, perhaps we should all be meeting with joy more often. Now, I'm not suggesting that our communications officer needs her work to be quadrupled, but perhaps instead we should try to be more joyful and less pessimistic, more optimistic instead. But we could be forgiven this year for feeling a little pessimistic. The news hasn't always been great. Many of us have suffered our own personal tragedies. Many will be grieving for the loss of someone close to them, or perhaps grieving for the loss of a way of life that they have enjoyed, but at the moment can't continue with. So this Christmas, I would like us to stop and to think about joy a little more, to think about how joy came in the most unlikely of places, how joy was born in a stable, in a back street, in an unlikely town, to unlikely people, but joy that was born to change the world. One of my favourite carols at Christmas is the carol Joy to the World. Joy to the world, the Lord is come, let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Saviour reigns. Let all their songs employ, while fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains repeat the sounding joy. No more let thorns infest the ground or sins and sorrows grow. Wherever pain and death are found, he makes his blessings flow. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glory of his righteousness and wonders of his love. Joy to the world is what came at Christmas. My prayer for us this Advent is that we can prepare to make room for Jesus in our lives once more. And by doing so, we share the joy, the hope, the love and the peace of Christ with those we meet each day. And that all of us really do begin to meet with joy.